What's going on guys? We're back here working on the golf cart again um, after our chain debacle last seen last time, I don't know. So we're doing some uh, thinking and figuring. Today's goals are, well we're not really going to set any goals, we're just going to see what happens, I suppose. <clears throat> um, we're thinking about how the shifter is going to work over there right now. We've got some ideas that will probably work, but the shifter is this little bit right here. We just have to make it a lot longer to go to the golf cart and figure out pivot points and whatnot so it all works and shit. My job right now is to actually finish the panel that goes in this spot here so we can mount our electrical pieces and stuff like that. Alrighty then, I made some little tabula doodlers for my little floor pan piece right here. I've got some shivlets holding it up in place. So really simple, all I'm going to do is line up with the hole in there and put a couple tack welds underneath here all the way around and uh, that'll be it. Then I just got to mark where the holes are and drill them on each one of these little tablets. Um, this side over here I'll just have to take them and put like a 45 degree bend because there's a bit of a gap on this side. But hey, nice and simple. Moving along. I got my little tablet drillers on there. Um, I guess the drill bit size first guess. That's uh, convenient. There's the panel over there. Brad is whacking shit with a hammer. We need yes. to do some clearancing for the exhaust, but. Ugh. Still no fitting? So annoying. We can clearance the header pipe a little bit too though. Yeah. Right where that white spot is actually. Okay. The question is, can we hit it anywhere? That's gonna be a tough hit. Do, are you sure you don't want bent one? I want a bigger hammer. All right, we can make bigger hammer happen too, though. Yeah. It's too hard. It's still warm. <laughs> Header pipe clearancing is happening. I'm not so sure. You're not so sure? No. I think it's just flattening the back. We picked up this uh, ammo can, well it's a plastic ammo can, for really cheap. We're going to end up putting all of the confusers and stuff like that inside of this box to neaten everything up and whatnot. Harbor break. Harbor break. Hmm. So, there's a panel here. This is our confuser box. It's gonna, probably going to fit there-ish and there's enough room for a small battery here. <coughs> It would have been nice if we could get it. Is it for a full size? Uh, it'd be a tight fit for a full size. That's too bad. I mean, I guess you could fit the confuser box sideways and get a full size battery here if you're okay with it being this way. Oh, yeah, that was the plan. Oh, okay. It's well, going in the front, too, probably. Well, the radiator goes right here, by the Yeah, well, that one. Right, so the, the radiator, yeah. confuser box, and battery. Yes. Which is still kind of tight, again, when all things considered still. Eh, yeah, we'll see. But, yeah. <clears throat> There's I mean, a the battery there. goes sideways. It might work. Yep. Things have happened. Well, actually, I bet you the car that, or the battery that's in your Honda probably is a lot smaller to fit there. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a truck battery. That's a good point. I'm thinking of like the battery that's in my Jeeps or the car. Right. <clears throat> doesn't have to be the biggest one we can buy. <laughs> it just has to be a Honda-sized one. Yeah. So why is it that everything? What? Is coming out of my Honda. <laughs> It's because it's a. It's, I mean, we're gonna take the pulley from my Honda. Well, I mean, we're it, take, now we're gonna take the battery. Well, the battery's shit anyway, so you can have it. Well, we yeah. Well, um, it's not gonna do as much good, but. I mean, it, it's. Actually, well, the battery might not be so bad. It's it's gonna go from a four cylinder to a four cylinder. True. This will probably be faster. It could be. <laughs> or don't. There's 
been some improvement on the battle with the exhaust, sort of. I hate exhaust work. Well, you're doing it. I don't know why. I looked at the list and I'm like, yeah, I hate doing that. I'll do it. That's true, you're the one that picked it. So, next thing on the to-do list to get started on is mounting the cooling radiator device so So it's gonna go right about there because there's already a hole in the body. Um, I think the easiest thing to do is just grab some square to square stock, probably like inch by inch or so, and just make a bar straight across and down to the frame somewhere. Where's the mounting brackets on that one? On this? Right on the bottom? Yeah, they're Whoa! Excuse me. Yeah, they're in the bottom. <laughs> Wait, oh, I see one. There's okay. here, there's one here. Oh yeah, square tube would probably work pretty good. Square tube and then as long as it's stable enough, I, might, I shouldn't have to do anything up top maybe. We'll see though. You know? yeah, we'll see. Yeah. The That's... way that bolts, it might, might be a little bit... Well, I can already tell those are at an angle. So we'll have to straighten those out or something. Yep. Or put the square tube in here. The same angle. <clears throat> we can do that. But, I gotta get some cutting and shit done. Don't touch that. It's nice and hot. Heated her up with some propane, and I made some 90s in it. This one's a little bit long, so I gave myself some wiggle room, so I gotta chop about a half inch off of it. And then that'll get turned into a bracket for the radiator. Brad is still doing exhaust things. Unfortunately. It's taken a while. No. There's a little bit of a rat's nest going on here. We got our ammo box in place and I dropped the wires in on it. I don't know if it's in place. It's, well, you know, it's where it should be. It fell where it's gonna be. Yeah, basically, I, I just went, <laughs> I just went, <laughs> and it went. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's a radiator bracket going on right the there. Camera. Right. Yeah. Shut up, Brad. How's your wiring going? It's for e going forever. It's fine. It's fine. Nice and simple. Just a squarey looking thing here, and I got some bolts and using part of the old mounts to make it sit there. It's actually gonna nice. Actually, be pretty plenty stable. I just gotta go over to where the other one is over there, and Brad, disturb my work. and disturb him so I can. Weld it in place. Right dar, but on the other side. Master at work over here, really. Right. Just twist them and heat shrink it. No. No? Solder too. Oh. Bastard. Did you unplug it? No, it's it's still plugged in, I think. It's okay, it's plugged now. Oh, see? I don't think it likes the new tip. You don't have a sponge to clean it off? It's clean, it's just like, I don't know, in there. There it goes. Man, that spray can works good. Yes, it does. Hey, freeze, freeze. Uh, no argument from here. As you can see, our uh, radiator bracket is nice in place. We uh, did a test fit. And we'll probably have to make a little tip thing to hold the top in place because it's a little bit wiggly, but otherwise it's fine. And the hoodoo hose routing is actually not that bad. Wow, look at that big puddle. What? <laughs> hoodoo what? Look at the huge puddle you just put over there. What puddle? Right there. It's perfectly smooth. <laughs> Where? I don't see any puddle. I see a huge puddle right there. Listen, I'm using uh, like a hose nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Like I was saying, the, the hose routing isn't isn't that bad, and we actually have the uh, old heater hoses um, that we had on the snowmobile engine over here, which were brand new. We went out and bought those from a Napa locally, so they're brand new, hardly used. We just wash them out, and we've got plenty of hose here to make things happen. And it's the right size, even. It's important to have enough hose around. That's true. It is always important to have enough hose. Ah, and our list. Got something crossed on. Off. Kind where's of. the Where's the floor pan? Uh, where I think is we're that? just reaching at this point. You think we're just reaching at this point? Where's the floor pan? Where are you? Ah. Floor so pan. I I wrote this one in and crossed it off because I finished that one today. <laughs> where's cooling? This 
um, I'll cross off the mount part of red because we still have to do the top tip. <laughs> yeah. This is what our shit pile looks like in between days of working on the golf cart. Just a big mess. It's a ah, pile, fuck! Actually. Say that again. It's a smaller pile, actually. True, it has gotten a lot smaller since the first few days that we've worked on this thing. The front was kind of like piled up here before. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. We had a big pile on that cart. <laughs> 